My name is Kyle McCulloch and I am a visual effects supervisor for Framestore, which is a visual effects studio in London. I just completed work on Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy, which has turned out to be one of the summer's big hits. We were responsible for building Rocket Raccoon and several of the alien worlds that you see in the film. I have been working in the visual effects industry in one form or another for uh, 16 years. I started out at a traditional film school. It was before they had training programs for visual effects. And I was very fortunate that I was able to find a studio that did work that I was interested in. And because I had no training, I got any job I could, so I was the receptionist, actually, at the first company that I worked for. And even though today it's very different in that there's a lot of resources and opportunities to learn and to train, I think the thing that you see that is still true of visual effects artists today, as it was 15 years ago, is the people who do this work are people who are passionate about it. And if it is something that you love and something that you enjoy and probably something that you would be doing even if nobody paid you to do it, um, then it might be the right industry for you. I was lucky that I was able to get any job at a studio where they were doing work that I was interested in and they let me stay late and work at night and try and teach myself how to do the work. Um, and I think I got my first job as an actual artist because they saw me put in two years worth of work just trying to teach myself how to do it. And what that means is that they, they saw that I cared and that I was passionate and that it was something that I really wanted to do. And even today when we're hiring, that's really a key factor in what we look for in new artists and people coming out of all of the different programs all over the world. Um, you see a lot of the same work and a lot of similar work, a lot of classroom assignments on all the same portfolios, but every now and then one will stand out and it'll stand out because somebody has done their own work or done something unusual or taken something in a different way than everybody else did. And you can recognize in those people's work uh, a passion and an engagement in the stuff that they're doing. And because I'm that kind of a person and the people I work with are those kinds of people, we all really love what we do. We're always looking for other people to join the team who are equally passionate about the kind of work that we do. And so those are the kinds of things that I think really stand out. And if you're that kind of a person, if you're that artist, then that will make you shine and hopefully bring you to the attention of someone who's hiring for new work. Visual effects is a really exciting and interesting industry, but it's a very centralized and focused industry. So there's more opportunities than ever because movies that are coming out now, every shot in them is visual effects. Guardians of the Galaxy, over 90% of the shots in the film have visual effects in them. But because visual effects are becoming concentrated, it means if you want to be a part of that industry, you have to go where the work is. I'm from California, but there's no work left in California, so I live in Europe. The work is in Canada, the work is here in Europe, the work is in Asia. You have to find the place where people are doing the work that you're interested in and go there and try and be a part of it there. And that's really the nature of the industry now. But it means that you'll be around a bunch of other people who are also excited about what you're doing.